So here I am today in uh, Palo Alto in Silicon Valley and I've popped into a startup called Doc AI because I was really curious about what they're doing. And here's one of the co-founders, Sam de Brouwer. Uh, the other co-founder is Walter de Brouwer. He can't be here today. So Sam, um, I'm really curious, like, because you're working with AI and blockchain and in the healthcare space, what are you doing for people curious to yeah. know? So DocAI, we are an AI that helps people collect, predict and change the outcomes of their health. And so how it works, basically, we are developing, we are using natural language uh, and computer vision to make um, any quantified biology understandable. So it's, uh, it's, uh, it's kind of feasible for the AI to understand blood tests, genetic tests, microbiomics. Um, we have one of our first technology is um, selfie to BMI. You basically take a selfie and the AI uh, and this is what you're doing it. on here at the moment. So if, yes. if you were to try and do it, if you do it now, what, what comes back? So uh, what comes back, so the AI predicts your age, gender, height and weight and we, it's still in full training. So okay. we've been training it on millions of faces but we need more training because we want our AI to be inclusive. What do you so, mean by inclusive? So we mean a, a large diversity of people like tall, small, all kind of colors, all kind of backgrounds because this is how you make your AI inclusive. I mean, the output is um, very, um, uh, tells a lot about the input in life. Okay. And, and um, Sam, if for people watching, if they're curious about working with you or partnering, I mean, what are you looking for right now? And, you know, how do people get in touch with you? What's the website? Yeah, no, thank you. So first of all, it's dog.ai. We are also going through an ICO, which is an initial coin offering. We are actually um, issuing our own token called the Neuron. Um, it's a blockchain-based um, cryptocurrency. Um, it will um, allow patients, um, providers, uh, payers to go on the network and organize data trial. Uh, data trial, a little bit like Kaggle does for data science, okay. but for healthcare. So uh, data trial to be able to uh, structure the data and to for the data scientists to build predictive models around it. So it has a lot of value for uh, organizations of patients who are going through what we call idiopathy, like people are suffering or they have a condition, but nobody's able to help them. Uh, it's like, we don't know, we don't know. Um, one of the first use cases we're going to work on is epilepsy. Okay. Uh, but think also of payers like insurance companies. Imagine they would give the Doc AI service for, uh, for free to their members. And so members would be able to collect all kind of health information um, via their phone. And the more they would collect that information, the more they would get token. So they would be rewarded to that and okay. they could use those tokens on the network to buy new health studies or to just exchange those tokens for cash. Okay. Uh, at the same time, the life insurer can also organize data trials with those data. So your health data could be an asset for you, is that? Could, yes. Okay. Oh yeah, for, yeah, I think medical data is an asset, we just don't know it yet. Okay, yeah. that's wonderful. Okay, thank you Sam for You're your time welcome. today. Thanks. Bye for now.